Hello there, thank you for joining me. I know many of you have been awaiting a book tour. In a short while I'll select one or two books from different genres. Before doing that, let me take you on a little silent tour. So as you can see, there are quite a few books. We're always adding to the collection. Interestingly, this collection isn't complete. We do have one or two books still wandering around in different locations. But eventually, we'll bring them all together as one. Okay, so let's select some books and see if we can generate some ASMR just by showing you them and discussing a little about them. We're going to start our journey in this area here where we have some wonderfully designed spread books here. You can see there's been a lot of thought that's gone into creating a beautiful looking book. So let's take the first one here. Now this is The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. Okay, first I want you to take a look at the floral design there. There is the front cover for you. I'm going to read you the brief review from Neil Gaiman. For someone damned to be forgettable, Adi LaRue is a most delightfully unforgettable character and her story is the most joyous evocation of unlikely immortality. This was a Radio 2 book club pick I'm not going to give too much away about the plot, if anything. But that's what I want you to consider, please. Let me take the second book here. Red and white floral design. A little look there. I think you're going to enjoy this one. I very much did. This is based on an orphan girl who is led to a strange house, harboring a dark secret. You can see in the centre of the sprite design, it's a little darker, and I believe this indicates. where the images are located. Some unusual artwork there. As you can see, it's a beautiful design. Stunning artwork. Looks rather malevolent. And one of the reviews says a haunting and beautifully tilled garden of darkness gallant unearths the shadows, webs of family history, the price of deadly bargains and the secrets we guard 
plunging readers into a triumphant tale that can't be missed. Okay, so please consider that one. And just running through the rest of the collection here, we have The Bleeding, Seven Faceless Saints, The Winter Garden, We All Fall Down, Witch King, The Exhibitionist, and if I can just show you this beautiful little notebook purchased from Waterstones. Okay, we have the attachments there, beautiful sprayed edges. And there is the spine. So if you're looking for a decent notebook that was purchased from Waterstones. Okay, and I want to take you on to the next selection here where the beautiful sprayed edged books continue. Okay, on to the next selection. There are three particular books I want to pull out and recommend to you. So the first is Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh. You can see the space themed spread design there. And the beautiful artwork there. A little bit of a synopsis. But essentially this is a space opera about the wreckage of war, the family you find and the path you forge based on the choices you make. What a selection of brief reviews there. Some desperate glory swoops through space and time with effortless precision, never pulling a punch or settling for an easy answer. There's nothing else like it. So I think you're going to enjoy this one. Beautiful page quality. That'll be a very good read for you. Have some more beautiful designs in this section here. We have the crimson colours there, but I'm going to select this one for you next. This is by Olive Black. This is Alone With You in the Ether. The honeycombs there and the bee here. This is a love story. This book is half mystery, half puzzle and wholly a delight. Olive Blake is a mind-blowing talent. So some nice words there. A little look at the design. Signed by the author there. Printed signature. Lovely page sounds. Okay, so about the story, a glimpse into the nature of love, what it means to be unwell and how to face the fractures of yourself whilst loving like you're not broken. So that's another one I'm going to recommend for you. Okay, 
We're going to move our way to this area. I'm going to select Book of Night. This is by Holly Black. Best-selling author, New York Times. Beautiful stars and moon design there. Lovely blue colour. Listening to the sounds of the book. Okay, we have some nice words there. Now, what is this one about? Living in a world where shadows can be altered, Charlie Hall is trying to escape her dark past. However, a figure from that dark past returns, throwing Charlie into a maelstrom of murder and lies. Okay. And I have to show you some of these sprayed edge designs. Now very beautiful. We have only a monster there. Can kill a hero. Vanessa Len. And let's just show you this one. by Emily Hart. We have the beautiful designs there. They try to cage us, but a wayward woman belongs to the wild. We cannot be tamed. Magical, historical, relevant and empowering, says Joanna Cannon. Beautifully written and intricate as a spider's web, says Sonny Dean. All right. Okay, let's move on to a different section and different genre for you. Okay, so we're now migrating to the realms of the horror paranormal, mythological tales, true life stories and a little bit of fiction thrown into the equation. Things aren't perfectly arranged so don't beat me up too much. Just starting with the current book, about three quarters of the way through. Don't really need to tell you much about Gears of War. You've probably played it on the Xbox. So that was the first in the series there. Asphalt Fields. Okay, we have the second here, which will be my next read. Sintar's Remnant, Marcus Phoenix there. Essentially it's based on the blockbuster Xbox game, the stunning story of the men and women who stood between a planet and total destruction and now have to face the consequences of their actions. Stop the Locust Horde. So very much enjoying the Gears of War there. Fiction here, Jeffrey Deaver, that's more of a murder crime type. Some night terrors here, little on Dracula. Ghost stories by women. I have 
have an X-Files tale there, one of my favourite shows of all time. And we have from the Reader's Digest some great ghost stories there. Okay, a recent read was this anthology of macabre stories put together by this author. Quite a few ye old details there. That was from Oxford. And there was some good tales in there. Now, one of my favourite tales from that anthology led me to another author who had a short story in that book. Who was John Wyndham? So I had to purchase as many books of his as possible. We have The Secret People. Absolutely brilliant writer, considering her ways and others. The chrysalids. Okay. So my next read after the Gears series will be the Day of the Triffids. So I'm not read yet, but after reading a little about what the book was about and reading his tale in the anthology book, we had to make a purchase. Okay, we have some more fictions here, and we have a little. about the witches, the Salem Witch Trials. And we have the hardback from Stacy Schiff, Salem 1692. Very fascinating reads. how things used to be back in those times when it came to witchcraft okay let's move down to this lower section to show you some more interesting books okay in this lower section it is quite mixed some of my childhood nostalgic goosebumps books there. I am trying to build the collection back up. I did have many more as a little boy, but some were sold, given away, but I'm going to build those back up. I have the medical books here. I want to do some reading around optometry and the medical world. Kansky here the the ophthalmological bible there my very old clinical procedures in primary eye care this is where i can bring you many of the techniques that you see in the medical videos we have snud and lamps Clinical anatomy of the eye there. A little bit about the Perkins tonometer. This book was given to me as a gift in India. Eye manual there, so you can search up any condition, most conditions of the eye, and find out a little bit more information. Optometric magazines there. Medical dictionaries. Normal dictionary. Recent read was Norse myths that inspired Final Fantasy VII. Probably most favourite game created. So that was an interesting read if you want to discover how what was featured in Final Fantasy, linked 
to Norse mythology. Now we only have two autobiographies here. I do have many more in a different location. But the two I have here, I have Roy Keane's one there. And a recent read was The Storyteller by Dave Grohl. Just excuse the coffee. Tales of Life and Music. A very fascinating read. Obviously a big Foo Fighters fan. Fortunately we lost Taylor Hawkins last year. This book was written I believe a year or so before his passing. So there were some interesting tales of Dave and Taylor. There is a young Dave Grohl with Kurt Cobain. So it very much follows his stories. And interesting tales that he encountered from his childhood to where the Foo Fighters are now. Absolutely fabulous book there. And as I said, we have some goosebumps. As a child, I was always reading horror. We have some here. R.L. Stein, very popular in America. Not in order. But I'm sure these are going to be nostalgic for many of you. And one of my favourite Goosebumps books, if I had to select, would be Beware the Snowman. Sherpa is a cold, cold place. It's a tiny village on the edge of the Arctic Circle where it snows a lot. Jocelyn has no idea why her aunt decided they should move there. But it's not just the snow that freezes the blood in Sherbia. There's a hideous howling noises at night. The scar-faced snowmen in front of every house. And sometimes on top of the mountain, something that seems very, something that seems very interested in Jasmine. Okay, so that's that section there. Let's move on to one more for you. Okay, so we can't leave without showing you some Stephen King novels. We do have some concealed round here. We have The Green Mile and we have Lysis' story, Pet Cemetery, it and Skeleton Crew there. Some quite old designs here. There is it. You will know about that story. I don't need to say too much about that. Right. We have the very popular, The Shining here. Very old design there. Quite an item. Welcome to the Arvoluk Hotel. You'll never want to leave. I'm sure you've seen the movie, maybe read the book as well. And just selecting some more. We have the cell, Doctor Sleep, Revival. Old game, the Institute. Let's just show you Doctor Sleep. There's the front cover. A powerful sequel to The Shining. More in the collection there. And then we have the Dean Coons there. 
all right so i hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the books from the collection i didn't want to give too much away in terms of plots in case you're planning on reading some of these 